Hey Anand TV viewers, Namaste and welcome to the third episode of Yoga Shakti with me, Shalija Menon. So in every episode, we try to build on what we did in the previous episode and work on deepening our understanding and our practice as well. So in the previous episode, we talked about how we're seated for most of the day, right? We're seated at home, we're seated when we go to work, but that is not so healthy for the body. That keeps the spine rounded all the time. That keeps our hips flexed all the time. And so today's episode is going to deal with hip extension, where we work on taking the leg back and away from the pelvis. The health of any joint is to a large extent determined by the movement of that joint. And that is why it is important to take each joint through its maximum range of movements. And as we step into the practice, always remember that asana is not just about stretching and strengthening the body, right? While it is that, it is also so much more. What asana does is connect us to our inner essence, to the subtle layers of our underlying reality, which we are usually disconnected from as we are so immersed in the hustle and bustle of everyday life. So join me in the practice and just remember to focus on what you can do. Namaste. So let's get started with the practice. So today I'm going to be using a block and I'm also being using a blanket, right? So uh, these props are really useful for us to deepen our practice and make it more comfortable. I know uh, some of you are resistant to using props, but uh, I really urge you to give it a try. And we have to realize that uh, any resistance is really the resistance of the mind, right, to anything that is unfamiliar to it. So um, let's get started. I'm going to use this blanket for my knees. So um, yeah, it makes it more comfortable. And uh, we're starting off with the hands and knees position. So check your alignment, make sure your shoulders and your wrists are in line. And make sure your hip and your knee is in line as well. Yeah, so from here, we're going to just work on bringing some flexibility towards the spine. So as you inhale, arch your spine, really connect your spine, look up. As you exhale, you can actually press your palms down into the floor, engage your abdominal muscles round your upper back and really feel it. Yeah, move with your breath, right? Asana is not just about doing something with your body. It's really flowing with your breath. It's deepening your awareness of your mind and ultimately your own self. And inhale, arch your spine and look up, last round. As you exhale, pressing down through the palms, really enjoy feeling the body open and bring your spine back to a neutral position. Yeah, from here, we're gonna lift the knee up. So inhale and lift the right knee up and you can point your toes here a little bit. Yeah, so again, just try to flow with your breath Exhale, bring the knee down. Inhale, lift the knee up, look up. Exhale, bring the knee down. Inhale, lift the knee up, look up. And if you're feeling uh, slightly more adventurous and you want to work on a little bit more of hip extension, see whether you can shift your balance, right? A little bit to your left side. See if you can hold. Hold your ankle here and lift. Exhale, lower down. So this can be a bit challenging on balance. So don't worry, uh, don't beat yourself up if you've lost your balance. But work on it and really enjoy working. Yeah, the process is the most important part of the practice. So as you inhale, lift the left knee up, just point your toes, exhale, lower down. Inhale, left knee up, exhale, lower down. And last round, working on balance if you want to. So, um, you know, press down through your toes, that helps you get some more balance as well. As you inhale, lift the left knee up, shifting weight.
exhale lower down and release right so from here we're going to work a little bit more with the block so i'm going to put my blanket aside lie on my back so i'm just going to give my hips a little bit of a lift using the block yeah so i'm just going to lift my hip place my block here so that helps to give a little bit more of extension to the hip right so i'm just going to extend my leg forward and really feel that stretch along the front of my hip the front of my thigh just sense that opening so it's important to keep the knee straight the thigh going down all of that is what gives that opening right so if the knee is bent and it's high like this then we're not really going to get any opening right so that awareness of the body is important to slide the heel forward right really feel that thigh going down and then to just help you work a little bit deeper you can use your like just working with some movement yeah so as you inhale just lift it up a little bit and each time you lower the leg try to go down as low as possible inhale and lift it up exhale and down inhale and up exhale and down and bend the knee and work the other side right so now we just work on extending that other leg forward press down through your toes just feel that stretch along the front of the thigh of the extended leg and slowly move inhale lift the leg up exhale lower down so using movement to go deeper into the position inhale and up exhale and down each time you release try to release the leg lower okay so last round just release the leg all the way down just hold it there 5 4 3 2 and 1 yeah slowly bend the knee bring it back so we're just going to work a little bit deeper this time so we're going to try to bring that right knee up yeah so try to hug that thigh as close to your abdomen as possible so this gives a deeper stretch so from here slowly release that left hip forward slowly release that left hip forward so really feeling that deep stretch here along that front of your thigh the hips really working those hip extensors keeping the thigh going down towards the floor holding it there 5 4 3 2 and 1 yeah slowly bring the knee back up so you release this leg you bring that left knee up close to you as close to you as possible and slowly release that opposite leg forward holding it here 5 4 3 2 and 1 and finally just release both the legs down right so what is important is you try to keep the thighs going down yeah so if you are like this then that's really not going to help yeah so we really work on trying to get the heels to slide forward the thighs to go down below the line of the hip and just holding it there 5 4 3 2 and 1 yeah so i'm going to bend my knees now those of you who who are struggling here you should just work from here right if any of you want to do a little bit more i'm just showing you the possibilities yeah so just press down through your feet and this block can actually be vertical as well Yeah, so lifting your hips and keeping your block just below your lower back, and just hold it here for a bit. Yeah, so just allowing your body to get used to this position, and then like you did earlier, just sliding the leg forward one by one. Yeah, so remember, try to get that thigh down to go below the line of the hip. So for that, you have to keep that left heel sliding forward. just holding it there 
and bring the knee back up and working with the other side just sliding the heel forward trying to get that thigh down and finally working with both the legs so sliding both your legs forward working into that beautiful hip extension thighs going down knees engaged trying to ground your shoulders as much as you can just holding it here trying to keep the soles of your feet going towards the floor your thighs rotating inward knees rotating inward calves rotating inward as you keep pressing down through the thighs and slowly bend the knees and bring the feet back up yeah and then this is the last variation again only if you want to try something different this also gives you a very deep hip extension so you see if you can just bend the left knee bring that foot back as back as possible yeah so the further back the foot goes the deeper is the stretch here right so if my foot is here somewhere you can see the difference right there's barely any stretch to the hip extension so just trying to take your foot okay so these are not really uh, basic level positions but just something that you can work towards yeah aspire towards so just bringing that foot in as much as you can trying to bring that knee as so the closer the knee goes towards the floor the deeper the release here yeah so just feeling that enjoying that yeah and then if you want to take it one more level deeper you just bend that right knee trying to keep that right thigh coming towards you and just stay here for a few breaths really enjoying the deep stretches feeling the release the opening focusing on your breath mind and breath flowing together deep awareness of the moment and slowly release so we work the same way the other side so release the foot here and bend the right knee bring that foot in again just working to what you can yeah so maybe initially it's not so easy to bring that knee down so just working to your best possible position right consistent practice is always the key to deepening our practice so bend the left knee here just hold it here for a few seconds so right knee going down left knee coming towards you just feeling those opposing energies at play just enjoying feeling your body really open the mind absorbed in the body and the breath and slowly release the leg and release the other leg right so to help you come out you have to really press down on your feet and lift the hips up off the block take your block off and release the hips down yeah release your spine and just hug the knees towards your chest that helps you to release any anis in your lower back so gently move from side to side and relax your spine now from here we're going to work a little bit more on hip extension so i'm just going to turn to my side and we're just going to do what we did earlier yeah but it's just in a lying down position the one that we did on our hands and knees so i'm just going to stay here i'm going to hold my ankle and from here i'm going to work on taking that leg as far back as it will go yeah and then bring it back so as you inhale just heel moving away from the body as you exhale bringing that heel back yeah as you inhale the heel moving back away from the body as you exhale bring the heel back right so we're going to do this on the other side so remember to move with your breath 
right so just grab your ankle right find the place where you can be reasonably stable and as you inhale move that ankle away from your body as you exhale bring it back inhale open exhale and back and last round as you inhale open as you exhale bring it back right so that also gives you a nice beautiful hip extension as you move the leg away it also gives an extension to the lumbar area which is usually always rounded when we're seated yeah so just working your body and coming up now so for the last position i'm going to be using a bolster yeah so um, again you might just have one handy in your home so this is also beautiful to give a nice extension to the hip and the back so you just work here shoulders back chest open heart open and as you exhale you can just lower down right and then see whether you can lift your legs up away right just really engage the glutes engage the hamstrings keep the toes stretching away from the body again slowly lower down yeah this is quite fun something your children might enjoy doing especially if you have young children as you exhale is lower down lift it up it really strengthens the glutes the hamstrings holding it here and last round inhale and rising up ensure that your shoulders are rolled back your chest is open and as you exhale again i'm just going to try a little bit more so again this is only for those of you who want to experiment a little bit more so just coming forward otherwise just do what we did earlier yeah so as you come forward you can bend the knees a little bit hold your ankles and just lift the legs up and slowly lower down inhale and rising up and as you exhale just moving into child's pose slowly coming up so for those of you who don't have a bolster at home we're going to do the same thing without the bolster right so these are actually two very traditional uh, asanas uh, bhujangasana the cobra pose and uh, dhanurasana the bow pose so just uh, lying on your abdomen okay keep your feet together the toes pointed back just going off my mat a little bit so as you inhale just pressing down through your palms and just rising up as much as you can right so really feel your body open feel the stretch draw back through your shoulders and as you exhale just going down just yeah, so just try this a few times to get comfortable with it as you inhale rising up as you exhale lower down yeah and if you bring your palms back a little bit more you get a really deep opening yeah so if your shoulders cannot be going forward you have to open your shoulders open the chest rising up hold it here and this time when you exhale and go down just bend your knees into dhanurasan the bow pose so you can hold your ankles again as you inhale rising up yeah so really working on lifting up heels moving away from the body chest up thighs up and as you exhale lower down yeah so inhale rising up opening your body exhale lower down hold your ankles and rising up heels moving away from the body
slowly lower down. Inhale and rising up. And last round. As you exhale, lower down. Bend the knees. Hold your ankles. And heels strongly moving away from the body. Exhale and lower down. Just release the legs and move back into child pose to release your spine. So, rising up on your knees. Okay, slowly rising up. Okay, and then uh, working again on uh, deep hip extension as well as uh, lumbar. So, keeping your hands on your ankles, right? So, there are many ways you can keep your foot. You can even keep your foot back, but uh, this is slightly deeper. So, if you're starting off, it's easier if you, you know, get some help here. So, again, a block comes in handy. So, even if uh, you can't uh, hold your ankles, if you have a block, you can just keep your hand on the block, yeah? So, uh, whatever works for you. So, I'm just going to keep my toes back because that's what I'm used to. So uh, even as you, so you may have to go back a little bit to hold your ankle, right? But once you do that, the whole uh, practice is to move the pelvis forward. Yeah, so because if you're going back, there's really no work, right? There's no extension that happens here. So you have to consciously, once you go back, move the pelvis forward, lift the chest up, and then you can take your arm back. Okay, so slowly coming up and working in the opposite direction. Yeah, so just take your left hand back, right? So once you, even if you've gone back to hold your ankle, once you hold it, move forward. Yeah, really work that forward. Slowly rising up. And then if you're comfortable here, you can just take both your hands back. Otherwise, you can also, if you have blocks, if you have two blocks, you can just keep each block by your ankle. Yeah, so that's also an option. So I'm just going to hold my ankles and then keep the, so this is the movement, right? So if we are here, there's really no work. You have to really work on getting that pelvis to move forward, even beyond your knees if possible. Keep the chest lifting up. So this is one of my favorite positions, Ustrasan, the camel pose. And it really gives such a beautiful stretch to the entire front of your body, your hips, your thighs, all of that. Yeah. So uh, from here, we're moving into the last position, which is Natrajasan, the dancer's pose. So in case you're wondering what all of these ropes are, this is actually uh, my yoga studio. And uh, maybe in some future episode, we can go over why we use these ropes. But uh, for today, I'm not going to use them. So we're going into Natrajasan, the dancer's pose, uh, which uh, most of you, if you've done some form of yoga, will be quite familiar with. So this is also a great uh, hip extension, and it also brings about that uh, lumbar extension. So just for balance, you can just uh, place your hand on the wall, and then initially just uh, bend that right knee, yeah, the heel towards you, and then just hold that ankle. And then if you feel comfortable, just really working that heel away. Yeah? So if you notice the whole of this episode, in all the many poses that we did, we've been working the heel away from the body. Yeah, We did it in that uh, first position with the hands on the knees. And then we did it lying down. right? And then we we're doing it now standing up. So just to get the connect, yeah, that is the same action. So finally, just lift it up when you feel like you've got in your best position. Just lift it up, looking forward, just hold it here. And slowly release the leg down, right? So if you want to bring the balance element into this, then of course we don't use the wall. 
and we just work on you know finding balance on one leg as we lift the other leg up and then we work here right so uh, do whatever feels right for you there is no uh, right or wrong per se we just begin where we are and uh, we work consistently so i'll just turn to the side so for the other side again i'm just going to use a wall in the beginning just hold your ankle and remember the heel moves away from your body yeah heel move away from your body yeah just do it a few times as you inhale just work the heel away from the body and last time you can lift it and stay slowly lower down so again if you want the balance element in it you can always work shifting your weight to the right side and then slowly picking that left leg up working on balance and slowly lower down so we've come to the end of this episode i really hope you have enjoyed the practice i'm sure uh, most of you will be able to try at least some of the positions that we did and the harder positions are really for you to be inspired to practice consistently yeah the body is a beautiful responding body and the more effort that we put in the more consistent our practice the more beautifully our body responds right and the deeper your connection with your own body your own breath your own mind and your own self namaste and see you next episode